in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to make a kindergarten graduation certificate in powerpoint this certificate will be very useful for school teachers as you can see here i have added a lot of clouds of different colors then i have added a rainbow at the background and in the bottom i have added the landscape with small flowers and then i have added these two small characters which i have downloaded from the net and this is absolutely free to use i have provided the download link and this is fully editable you can just change the children name or other things which you like to uh, replace the text with so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and i'm going to change the size to a4 for that go to design slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down select a4 and click ok then i'm going to add the clouds let me just go to insert shapes we have the clouds here but this is not the cloud which i'm looking for so we can make our own clouds for that i'm going to use the oval shape draw the oval shape random shapes you can see here any shapes press ctrl d reduce the size you can add here one ctrl d increase the size ctrl d again reduce it again i'm adding one more bigger one you can see here again ctrl d you can add one more here Control D again, make a one smaller, Control D a bigger one, you can see here and Control D one more, I will cover this one. And then once a cloud is, I mean kind of this oval shapes got together, I am going to press Control A and go to format, merge shape and just say union so you got the shape of the cloud now i'm going to change the background for that let me just go to insert shapes select a rectangle and cover the slide completely and see here again shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select a gradient fill from here i have used this one that's the reason it's appearing here as you can see here i have added three stops here with this color uh, aqua color or any color of your choice you can use it and then i'm just going to send this to back and this one shape outline i'll make it no outline and the color i'm going to select is white color if you want you can reduce the size a little bit by holding the shift key and then i'm going to duplicate two times press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to change the color to some other color can you see your blue color or any other color of your choice let me just increase the size and then send this to back and i'm just going to put something like this and one more time press ctrl d and this one i'm going to give some different color maybe this or maybe dark blue again hold the shift key increase the size a little bit more you can see here and then this also i'm just going to send this to back so you can see our design for the cloud is ready now i'm just going to give the shadow effect so select the white cloud first go to effects shadow and i'm going to select the preset which is the outer bottom right increase the distance you can see here and then increase the blur size and the same thing i'm just going to do for the blue again how much you need you can just increase it and give the blur this also you can increase it and increase the distance and increase the blur size 
or you want you can just make it more transparent also so with this we have completed the design of the clouds so let's add the text now go to insert text box and i'm just going to type certificate of appreciation you can see here and then i'm just going to make it open sans the font and any color let me just use a black reduce the size a little bit make it bold center align and just add it here let me just increase the size and remove the bold it doesn't look good you can see a certificate of appreciation and then i'm just going to type a big diploma the one more text i'm just going to add and d i p l o m a here i'm going to use the font which called the impact and i'm just going to make it very loose increase the size center align and then each alphabet i'm just selecting and i'm going to give some different colors you can see here for each alphabet i'm using some different color so whichever color as per your choice you can just select here let me just select it quickly maybe yeah so you can see here and then i'm just going to say one more text down i will just say this certificate is presented to or whatever the text i'm just adding the text my own text here reduce the size you can see here make it bold or no need bold and then i'm just going to add one more text box and here this is where you can write the kid's name or the child name i can say center align give some nice color make it bold increase the size and i'm going to use comic sans this font just put it here and if you want you can add some more detailed text here for that go to insert text box i'm going to use equals l o r e m within bracket 1 and some latin text it will give by default let me just put this latin text again i'm going to select the same font which is open sans reduce the size center align and just add it here you can see here make sure that all are one font only so you can see here this is open sans this is open sans this one only these two are the different one because we are using the a uh, certificate for kit so it can be a multiple fonts not a problem so below you can add the school name and the teacher's signature so this is certificate of achievement not uh, appreciation sorry for that and then i'm just going to insert text box i'll just say school name colon and again you want whichever color you need you can just choose the color reduce the size open sans you can write a line you can see here and then go to insert shapes select a line or draw a straight line by holding the shift key and the line you can just select a dash type this one and i'm just going to select both of this press control d to duplicate 
add here and I'm just saying teachers signature just make sure that this is somewhat up otherwise it is here so you can see here the text is ready and this there are some open spaces so I'm just going to select one white cloud press ctrl D or reduce the size you put it here one you can see here and I'm going to select with the blue and white Control D and Control G. Reduce the size by holding the Shift key. You can add one here. Control D. You can add one more here. It's up to your requirement. Now it's almost done. I'm just going to use some landscape for that. Go to Insert Shapes. Select a right triangle. Draw a triangle. Maybe this much size shape outline no outline and give a light green color and i'm just going to rotate flip horizontal right mouse click edit point and i'm just going to increase it a little bit and here i will decrease it you can see here this is the landscape i'm adding and press ctrl d and give this a darker color and rotate it to flip horizontal and put it here and you can just send this to back so you can see here that the landscape has been added and now these are the three things which I have downloaded from the internet the two small little characters and the flowers so let me just copy and sorry there's some mistake let me just do once again Control C, Control V. So you can see here our certificate is ready. You can just simply go to File, Save As, and you can select a PDF and you can directly save it and you can print the certificate. And one more thing which you can add here the rainbow again this is the small uh, you can see here a circles i have used to make this rainbow you can just select this control c come here control v rotate it and you can just send this to back you can see here so our rainbow is also you can reduce the size sorry everything is ready just change the name and the details and if you want you can just copy everything and you can go to view slide master only you can keep these details only which are editable otherwise you can just go to slide master and copy everything so let me just show you how to do that i'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl a and i don't want this certificate this text only which i want to, uh, we have to change it so i'm just keeping it outside hold the ctrl key and whatever the text we don't want we can just remove this one or this has to be there not a problem so only this part you can see here i have copied everything selected everything except the text all right so i'm just going to say Control c then you can go to slide master under view which is slide master and here if you want here you can just simply come and paste it everything and just close the you can see here if i add this is even if i can delete this one this is all i don't need because it's already there you can see here it is already there only it allow me to just change this detail other details it will not allow me to change it so it's simple but here you can change anything as you like but here you cannot so it's up to you whether you want to use the slide master or you just 
don't want to use that one. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.